Welcome to our next edition of Ask the Preacher. One of the questions that is frequently asked, especially in these turbulent times, is what is my relationship supposed to be with our government? In other words, for me as a Christian, what am I supposed to do? Well, we understand that, you know, Paul wrote to the Philippian Christians and said that our citizenship is in heaven. And I, I believe what that means is that my first priority is to God, no matter what. But it's interesting that God tells us that we have a responsibility to our government as well. Um, when it comes to government in general, as well as to apply to our government, I see Romans 13. Let everyone be subject to governing authorities, for there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. Consequently, whoever rebels against the authority is rebelling against what God has instituted, and those who do so will bring judgment on themselves. Uh, isn't that interesting? Uh, you might love the current president and have hated the one before. You might have loved the previous one and hated the one, one that's now. Um, for me personally, I'm not sure I have a president that I've really liked since Ronald Reagan. <laughs> that just shows how old I am and how stubborn I am. But uh, what I see here is that it's not up to me to question or to deny the legitimacy of the government that God gives me. That's hard a lot of times, isn't it? Because government supports things that we don't support as Christians. I also see where uh, it's important for me to pray for my government, to pray for my governing leaders, and uh, to understand that, that yeah, we're not going to agree with everything they say. Uh, by the way, when Paul wrote these words, what was the governing structure? It was the empire of Rome. Christians were persecuted. They were being attacked by government leaders and killed. And yet, Paul says, be subject to governing authorities. There's no authority except that which God has established. Well, there are a number of other places where we can look, for example, in 1 Timothy chapter 2. Let me, let me find that real quickly here. In 1 Timothy chapter 2, Paul's a, a little bit different, a little bit stronger in some ways. He says, I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. This is good and pleases God, our Savior, who wants all people to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. So Paul says, pray for our governing leaders. Why? Is it because we, we support them 100%? No, it's because we want the peace and quiet to share the gospel, to share the good news so that more and more people can come to Christ. I see people opposing the government vehemently and violently. I've said in some broadcast recently that I support protesters. I do not support rioters. I do not support those that attacked our Capitol building on back on January 6th. I do not support those who have attacked cities around the nation and even taken over section of cities. But I support the governing authorities in prayer. And, and you know, so I, I pray for our president. And I could have said this a year ago or five years ago or 10 years ago. I support our president. I support our governor. I pray for our Congress and Supreme Court and many, many others who have governance over us. One more scripture that I want to share about this, and that's 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 17. Peter says, Show proper respect to everyone, love the family of believers, fear God, honor the emperor. Honor the emperor. Um, you know, some of the emperors, again, they, they used Christians uh, as entertainment in the Colosseum. They, they were burned at the stake. They were, they were fed to the lions. But, you know, the Christians showed that God is God in them and they have a better place than what this earth will ever give us. And so when we look to God and put our trust in him and pray for our leaders, we're doing the right thing. Thank you for asking the preacher.